Hello, my name is Felicia Crawford, and I'm coming to you today because um, my sister in the faith call, well, asked me to pray to God to see if there was any words that God had for this time. You know, our nation and have been experiencing many tragedies, many loss, and I know many are coming out with condemning rhetoric because of uh, people lifestyles because of people conducts and behavior saying this is the judgment of God one thing I want you to be very clear of and that is as followers of Christ we're to always operate in love for we must know the will of God in every time and every season of our lives and this one thing remains that it is God's will that no man should perish but every man come to repentance and understanding this, um, we shouldn't walk around trying to condemn people because that's not our place. Our place, ours is the ministry of reconciliation. Yeah, we know that there are many who are living outside of the will of God for their lives and are living in contradictory to the very nature of God. It is us to show them God's love. Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men into myself. You can't draw people when you're constantly bashing them over the head. The one thing about Herman nature is you know when you're doing wrong. So I don't need anyone to point out my failures, my flaws, my errors. But what I need them to do is point me to the solution. And the only solution is a risen Savior, Jesus the Christ. The problem is we're trying to uh, give people psycho Bible to explain away what is really going on what the cause really is the cause the perp the fact is we live in a fallen world but we have a risen savior who took away the sin of the world and if only we abide in him we can operate and function and walk in the grace that he has so freely given us but if we allow ourselves to be dictated by our flesh and yeah, we'll have hate, hateful words coming out of our mouths. And we'll always look and point at people's flaws. But the one thing the Bible says is to remove the plank out of your own eye before you try to remove the speck out of your brother's eye. Yes, there's tragedies, there's loss. And even though we're in the world, we're not of the world. So we're not supposed to fear the terror and the destruction that is occurring around us. In fact, Jesus warned us about this day and time. And yet, so many of us act like it's, well, maybe it is a surprise to you because you're not in the Word of God like you should be. But we got to look up because our redemption is near. How long that may be, I don't know. But if I was you, I'll be about the Father's business. And learn how to operate in love. That love that covers a multitude of sin. And that love that casts out all fear. Love. Because there's multitudes and multitudes in the valley of decision right now. Even in your sphere of influence. Your family. Your friends. Who need to know this Jesus that you claim to serve. Trust him. Our faith does not rely in government. In world institutions. We're of the kingdom of God. We're citizens of heaven. We're supposed to be operating accordingly. Just like the children of Israel that were in Egypt. And all these plagues and destructions were occurring around them. But God was able to keep them safe. you telling me the same God whom the Bible said is the same yesterday, today and forevermore. Can't keep you safe in this day, in this age, in this time. Of course he can. All power resides in Him. And guess what? The Spirit in you is greater than the Spirit that is in the world. So act like it. And be the lights that God is calling you to be. And be the salt that God has purposed you to be. And stop acting like you don't know.